Hi, I'm Jason. Uh, I was just working on a conversion for a CNC mill, and I thought I'd show you guys um, in case you're interested. So the milling machine is a Bridgeport Boss 5 Series 2, and it's kind of like 1978-79. It had a uh, digital PDP-11 um, controller on the side of it, and uh, it was worthless. It 300 baud serial uh, stream into it, and didn't have enough memory to really do anything in more than one uh, access at a time. So uh, converted it to using a Maso controller with some Gecko stepper drivers. And uh, here it is. I'll show you a little bit of the parts that came out of it too. I already get rid of some of them. I'll turn you around. So these three transformers came out of the main cabinet or power cabinet, I guess we could call it. Uh, this one here, the biggest one, was for the uh, the main power and then the three smaller transformers, one for each axis. It's about a 50, 56 volt on these, this machine for the stepper drivers. And on the machines over here, so I retained the fuse block. I'm only using the left two fuses right now. Um, set everything up for single phase power. I have three phase here in the shop, but I'm hoping to get rid of this getting into someone else's hands so I can get an enclosed unit at some point. Uh, so this is the power supply that I bought to replace the uh, three big transformers. So you can see over there it's a 73 volt. There's two 73 volt outputs. That's DC and a 24 volt DC output. So it's a triple tap transformer. The, the Maso runs on 24 volt DC and you Right there, you get your USB plugs, the keyboard and mouse plug right in there, and then your monitor plugs into it. So it's a little bit basic, but it's pretty, you know, straightforward to use. So, you know, not terribly advanced features, but it works pretty well. Um, up here, I did a Tico Westinghouse VFD. So that gets the three phase motor driven. I still need to set that up. I need to set up the, uh, or program the VFD to take the spindle um, signals from the Maso. And then here you got the XYZ stepper drivers. Pretty common gecko drivers. I just mach machined a plate for the back of them for heat sink. Uh, so let's go around to the front of the machine. I took the side cabinet off the machine. The side cabinet was the one with the computer in it. So in the front of the machine, uh, right here I just Drilled some holes in the cabinet for the stepper motors, the wiring to go through, and I still need to set up all the limit switches. Um, I think I need to put a box right here because some of the limit switch wires aren't long enough. Uh, mostly the Z this goes in this big conduit. So here's the overall of the machine. It's a knee mill with CNC controls. On this particular model, the table has a 18 inch, I believe, left to right movement. Um, y axis is 12 inch and Z axis is five inch. And here's the Maso controls. Uh, right now we have, the machine runs really smoothly. The little clicking you can hear is actually just a feature of this mill. There's a counter here like a really old odometer on a car you see that there we go there's one here for the x-axis as well so that's about it if you have any questions post them down in the comments um like and subscribe we have more of this content coming up i'll show you the completed uh, unit as well Thank you. Bye.